STL files can now be used in FikaCam to represent the stock state for rest machining processes. In this example, the part is initially machined and then sent off to be hardened. Rest machining is then required to machine the remaining material around the upstands of the model. In this demonstration, we aim to show the use of the STL file for stock condition, the use of multiple roughing tools for reference in all 3D stock models, both solid and STL files, and the ultimate aim being to minimize any air cutting in the process. We have an initial roughing operation here, which is a Z-level roughing, and this is using a 20mm tool. I go into my 3D simulation, So I now have a simulation result, and this is going to be my stock state post-hardening. So I want to save this simulation, we go to save simulation results, then we can choose to save the STL file. Once we save that file, we can then bring that file back in, in the case of a demonstration, there is a folder in the browser window that allows us to do this. So here is the STL file. I can drag straight in, import. And at the moment, you can see the STL file location is good. So I'm going to say accept the data as is and finish. So this STL file I will use as my reference for my next machining process. I'm going to click on the properties of this roughing operation. If we go to the processes, we can see there's a second Z-level operation. Let's apply, go into the Z-level, and just identify that we're utilizing the multiple rough. And we've got two tool diameters, a 10 millimeter and six millimeter. In the case of this particular tool crib, I need to change. Let's change to our full tool crib. And you can now see feature cameras found a 10 millimeter tool and a 6mm tool for the respective roughing operations. The next thing I want to do, just before I simulate, is I'm going to turn off the holder to make it a bit clearer. Now at the moment, the toolpath will be produced for the entire model. So what we need to do is we need to reference this stock model. So let's go back into the properties into the Z level. Under the stock, I've got the option here to use the solid model or an STL. I have my STL file here. So let's check this option and say we want to reference that stock model for toolpath calculation. Again, into 3D simulation, press play to calculate the toolpath.
we now see the result of the rest machining operation in this part.